Okay, back in action. Big head. Just want to show, get up this brush here and thing out. Have it now grand. Okay. Now, as you can see, um, I have a little circle here in the, in the center because what I did was I just used the top of a larger tube, white in fact. Just put it against the canvas like that, okay? And then just went around it with, what did I do that you can do it with a pencil or white pastel, just to get that little circle for your sun, okay? Because I decided to put the sun there. And then, <coughs> how did I get the center of the canvas? I don't, don't use rulers, very rarely use them. I use my eye, you have to train your eye to do these things. So, like, on the easel you have three uprights, okay? This one is always in the center. So look at your canvas and get exactly the same amount on either side over the edge of the uprights, okay? Then just put it up on the lip of the little shelf where it's holding it and bring this down just to slot it into place. That'll hold it in place, okay? And there you have the center, okay? You have the center ground, it's as easy as that. Now what we're gonna do is, no delaying anymore, pick up my messy palette again, lovely and messy. That's what it's all about. Creativity, it's all to do with colour and me me oh, oh. I can't bear la laying them all out in strict regimental order, you know? This is the way to do it, you know? So we're going to get this, look. Whoa! But there's a smaller um, square flat, right? And we're going to put it into this little circle that we have developed with the pastel. And you just go around the edge of it with the edge of the brush as well, okay? Just following the white line that you delineated. Well, it's white for me because I used a white pastel, okay? Going all the way around like this, just following it. All the way around, all the way around. You don't have to go over the line. The line can be rubbed out later on when it's all dry. And it can be rubbed out with a damp cloth. Look at me, see me putting on the color there, look. So what we do then is I'm just gonna put a little bit more there because I see I can, come out, I can afford to come out to that line there tiny bit more there as well and it doesn't matter if you have that lovely texture in it that's really going to make it shine it's going to make those warm rays of the sun just come bursting out from those texture pieces okay and we might even go over it again at a later stage okay so that's your sun that's in the center you know it's good now cleaning off the brush again okay and what we're going to do then is sorry yeah. We're going to go for this color here if I can find it. I'll have it uh, here. It is on another messy palette. Look, and we're going to use a bigger back to the slightly bigger square flat. Or boy. What we're going to do next is we're going to start putting in trees right here in the foreground as many as you can. Okay, well, you know, within reason, we want we don't want sort of forest that's so thick that we can't see through it with tree trunks because we want to be able to see this background and um, <clears throat> basically we're going to start with the red as I said the red medium now I have a deep red here as well just in case sometimes the red is not dark enough I didn't put that on your list of colors but if it's not dark enough we can add a little extra of that okay now what I do is the sun is in the center of this painting okay load it up there get it nice and new york you like load it up not you don't want it overloaded then okay and with the flat of the brush we're going to start delineating the trees excuse me this is why i have it fixed as well here because uh, you'd be putting a little pressure on it but i normally start in the center okay and let's say i'm going to start at this level here come down at an angle i don't want it straight put, i'm putting a tiny bit of that deep red into it i don't want it straight because you very you don't want it looking like a fence you want it looking like trees okay paint is a bit dry so that's why i have to overpaint it each time adding a bit more water just to get that covering power into it okay <coughs> and you see the way i'm holding the brush you can hold it whatever way you want and i'm just coming out the other side of it and just getting it slightly slightly wider towards the bottom okay it doesn't have to be too too wide you know and it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be straight line because trees are by nature irregular. They have lovely trunks and lovely textures in their trunk. Now the yellow is still not drying it up, but it doesn't matter. Then what we're going to do then is we're just going to add a little bit of an idea of maybe some sort of a branch going up there like that out of it, okay? 
Then what I what I always like to do then is I like to do the other one on the other side as well. <coughs> and we don't want to keep it at the same angle. Maybe maybe bring it closer, closer to the sun and just slightly straighten it up. Don't have too much of a slant on it, okay? And maybe with this one, we might go up higher than the sun, okay? Higher. Just to vary it, you know, because these this is these are the little tricks, you know. Uh, this is a quite a simple painting, but there's lots of little tricks in it uh, that you can, you know, adapt and develop for much bigger um, compositions. You see, I'm just widening that there a bit. I went on the edge of the brush that time. And with this one, then we're saying, okay, it's going to go up there and it'll disappear out, out of the canvas. Okay, it's gone. I always think of my canvas as, as too small because I always think of my paintings going way up there beyond the edge of it. Okay. So we have that, so we have those two. Then we come back to this side. Okay, we're gonna try another one coming down here. Add another angle to it, can you see that? Another angle to that original one. Having a bit wider at the bottom. Tiny bit wider. Okay, and a tiny bit wider there, just to vary it, okay? And then with this one then, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go straight up. As if that goes straight up. The branches haven't um, divided yet on that one. And we're going to just make that more definite there again. Okay, can you see that just to vary it? Then maybe on this side, we're going to have a lower one. And we're going to have this one at another angle coming down here. Okay, can you see that? Coming down there like that. Right out there at an angle. Again, right out there at an angle. And then have the branches slightly different again, going off in different directions. Maybe that one up there. And then branching out there like that. Okay. Can you see that idea? Okay, perfect. Then we come back here again to this side and we're going to have a different angle again. Maybe coming in slightly closer at the bottom. Just slightly closer at the bottom there like that, okay? And I'm picking up and loading up the brush each time and there's, all, there's enough on it as I go along. And then maybe have this one just slightly taller there and let's say we have that branch going up there and maybe that one coming down there like that. And maybe a smaller one branching off there. And up there like that, okay? Then we come to this side and we're going to come this down towards the base of the other one like that. Okay. Same on that side, same on this. And then we're gonna have this up here slightly taller again. Well, a bit more. And then this one might disappear out completely then we'll say well, that one could disappear right out there, okay? So can you see the idea so far? Then we're coming back here again and then we're gonna have a, maybe a lower one. Where it branches off it's going to be lower at the top i'll show you what i mean now you get the idea because this is how you get the used to patterns and irregularity within painting so that one is branching off a lot lower okay and we're going to have that one going up there maybe like that and that guy going out there okay can you see interesting isn't it then the same here then we're going to come out this way with this fellow okay and have it lower again because we want to have more branches here. Okay, here we are going back in there, maybe going across here like that, making a statement. Another guy up here going out of the canvas, out of the canvas, out of the canvas, out of the, out of the canvas. Sky is still a bit wet there. That's why the yellow is coming through, but that doesn't matter. And what we have there is look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've eight trees. I mean, do you want to have another one at the edge? We could stick in another one, maybe just going out, you see? Coming back in there, almost hitting off that, okay? Just to finish it off. And this one could be going out of the painting, maybe a little bit coming in there and then branching out there at the edge, okay? Getting slightly wider towards the bottom, slightly wider towards the bottom. Give a <coughs> sense of girth at the bottom going into the roots. And we didn't need the dark red. Then we have this guy again. We have him going in in a different direction, meeting up with the bottom one. Slightly wider at the bottom. Okay, can you see that? Slightly wider, slightly wider. 
and then branching off there out of the painting like so okay out there like that and there are your one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten trees okay so what i want to do is i'm going to dry these fellas and maybe we need to put another coat on them what do you think look at that you almost you have your painting there look don't you more or less okay be back shortly <laughs> 